Let's take a look at specific health concerns. So chronic fatigue, for example, if you have a student that suffers from chronic fatigue, use restorative postures and gentle inversions to stimulate circulation. Stay within the student's energy level without pushing their limits too far and some active postures are helpful in strengthening their muscles and for giving them a positive outlook and giving them energy. If you have a student that complains of having a headache, remind them to stay really hydrated and as often this is a contributing factor to headaches. So release the shoulder and neck muscles with appropriate postures as well that will help alleviate any kind of tension there in that area. And whilst practicing simple pranayama, emphasize long, smooth exhalations, closing the eyes to relax the nervous system and release tension as migraines and headaches are often stress related. So this will help them to reduce their stress levels. If they have any heart conditions, again, always making sure that they have consulted their doctor before they do any, any kind of exercises and get them to tune into the breath and simple front body opening asanas such as gentle back stretches or some gentle back bends that can stimulate blood flow in the chest area also and a gentle practice is recommended in order to lessen strain on the circulatory system building intensity step by step and very slowly and insomnia is often caused by an agitated nervous system. So postures that emphasize cooling um, and release are of great benefit to people who suffer from this condition. And shoulder stand can be very helpful in stress releasing and helps to release nervous energy. Followed by counter poses and long savasanas to encourage relaxation. The legs are our connection to the earth are closely related to the health of the lower back. The thigh bones need to ground and more energetically move back towards the hamstrings to seat themselves at the centre of the hip socket and thereby allow the lower back tension to release. Perform standing forward bends, emphasising always the elongation of the spine while simultaneously moving the top of the thighs back. So if your student suffers from wrist pain, always check the alignment of the crease of the wrists, for example, in postures like down dog. Make sure the student is practicing asanas on a firm surface. Emphasize strong muscular connection to the earth, to all the fingers and the rims of the hand. And another good posture is hands under feet and standing forward bend, which can also release wrist joints as well.